Hello, my nomies, I'm Chris Perillo, as you probably already know, and you're watching my weekly geek haul. And I promise you, no Star Wars at all, apart from the shirt I'm wearing that I received as a gift. And according to my calendar, I need to change the date from May the 4th to... Revenge of the Fifth. Okay, now I'm done with all the Star Wars references. Earlier this week, you may have caught my mystery box on opening where I discovered that Hasbro sent me a whole bunch of Avengers toys. I have not yet seen Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, but now I can pretend to be Captain America. These really weren't designed for adults. So how about I play with my Iron Man gear instead? Is that better? Does that work for everybody? Can can we do this together? What can I say? I'm a huge fan of plastic. Okay, enough fun for now. Let's get serious. With some roast beef and mustard flavored potato chips from Ross Williams. I've never had this flavor before. Smells very potato-y. Wait, no wait, these are not potato chips. They're crisps. And oddly enough, so am I. Crispy. Amazing. They're slightly thicker than American potato chips. And they taste better too. I may have never heard of Brannigan's before, but they seem to do chips right, or crisps. Color me a fan of roast beef and mustard potato ch uh, crisps. Diana brought me some Pringles tortilla zesty salsa. You know, because it's also Cinco de Cuatro. And what nerd does not enjoy a good snack? Wow, that smells very salsish. Spicy. Flavorful. Let me make a clarification on something I said earlier. American companies can do chips well. Other non-American companies can do crisps well. Is that fair? Is everybody happy? I am. Yeah. If you've watched our daily vlogs on a regular basis, then you likely know that I'm not really someone who wears sunglasses. But Spine Optics offered to send me some of theirs so that I could try them. How do I look? What's cool about these sunglasses is not that I'm wearing them over my regular glasses, it's how they do this. I've got them on now without my glasses on underneath them, and imagine being out in public, and you're about to make a point, but to make that point, you've gotta look cool when you make the point. So, here I am, about to make my point. You know what I'm saying? People will listen to you! Because let's face it, you've never seen sunglasses do that before. Am I really the only one who does that with glasses and sunglasses? I know they have clip-ons and everything, but those look weird. If you've ever seen me review or talk about food in a car, or you've seen me driving around and eating food in the car, which I don't usually do at the same time, sometimes in my car reviews, which I'm just now getting into, you may have seen that I get things a little messy. Well, I've got a solution for that. Thanks to Steve Mannering, I've got a steering wheel desk. You see, this part hooks onto just about any steering wheel, and then you can set just about anything on top of the tray, like food, drink, or a laptop. I may continue to be just as much of a messy eater, but at least the car will remain clean. I would use this on a regular basis, if only because when I'm in public, I really like people to know that I'm a nerd. Seriously, this is a very thoughtful gift and you can expect to see it in future vlogs. Years ago, I recorded a video at Macworld with a guy named Christian from a company called Equinox. Don't ask me why I continued to use air quotes there. To paraphrase, what he basically said was, hey Chris, we make some pretty cool cable products for Apple stuff. Do you want to see them? And I said, sure, why not? So Christian sent a lightning tizzy flip. That's it. That's the full length of the cable. Because sometimes you don't need a long cable. And just in case you do need a long black lightning cable, you may want this tizzy flip. Just in case you're someone who happens to be in a vehicle on a regular basis, then you may need the Tizzy Turbo Loader 3X Mega. Three times the ports, three times the power. With automatic device detection. Let's go ahead and see if it recognizes my iPhone.
Maybe I'm not using this right. It didn't recognize it. Okay, now do you want to know what this is? It's a schlingle! Seriously, the tizzy schlingle. Now, if you've never played with your own schlingle before, simply pull it apart and then slide this end out. You've got a lightning cable! And when you're done with it, you simply put it back together and hang it on something. Is that really the name of the product? Schlingle. I said that right, didn't I? Schlingle. What else did I get over the past week? An LG G4 that looks like a football on the other side. I gave you my initial impressions in a live TLDR. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch that. I'll be posting my full-on review specifically for Supernomies. It's a solid newer generation Android device that boasts an amazing camera. But I'm going to let you be the judge of that. I'm going to be posting some video comparisons between this and the iPhone 6. To give you a brief synopsis of my overall review, I would say that the thing that impresses me most about the LG G4 on T-Mobile's network is the fact that it's running Android 5.1, which, as of today, is the latest version of Android. This is a new phone! That's kind of shocking! And can we get past the point of calling these things phones? They're pocket computers! Software? Hardware? Pocket. Sure, you could take a selfie with an LG G4, but wouldn't you rather use this as well? It's the GoGo Selfie Stick! Many of you don't know this, but I was using selfie sticks long before they were called selfie sticks. The best part about this selfie stick is the fact that you can accommodate just about any sized smartphone. And that, in my book, makes it a winner whether or not you perceive people who use selfie sticks as losers. Like I said, I was using things like this years ago, but I don't have a beard and I don't dress funny. Therefore, I'm not a hipster. I also can't remember if I told you that I've picked up Howard the Duck number one. He's back! But I got a few free comics over the week as well. You watched that haul, didn't you? I got me some free G.I. Joe, free Transformers, free Secret Wars, free SpongeBob, free Gumby, free all new, all different Avengers, free Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck, free Free Fight Club, Free Doctor Who, Free Bongo, Free Bob's Burgers, Free Mega Man, Free Hello Kitty. It was Free Comic Book Day. What? Do you not follow me on social? I let you know well ahead of time. Last but certainly not least, a new Lego acquisition, Chima, set number 70232. Sabertooth Tiger Tribe Pack. It's packed with minifigures! A few minifigures, and some rather unique bricks as well. If you were looking to build your army, or maybe you were looking to get started with collecting LEGO minifigures, this would be a good set to start out with, or to continue with, or to have. And you can have your own, as well as all the stuff that I showed you today. Just check out the links in this video's description. I'm not sure if I want to open this and take some pictures, although I've been taking to featuring toy photographers every day on LockerGnome.com. Am I the only person in this community who actually cares about some of this stuff? Let me know! Well, thanks for paying attention anyway. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.